It's pretty amazing to get this email asking if I was interested in designing something in conjunction with Tiffany. Somehow it felt like they sussed out my secret desires or something. I'm a total control freak and I've never made a piece of jewelry before. So I was like, if I were gonna wear a part of my painting, well, what would I like to wear? I have these shapes that I've developed where there are these kind of undulating forms that are reminiscent of lots of things, but then I keep using them over and over in the work. And so the Tiffany pendant was just this little interesting scallop that felt like half a flower. This is kind of the first time I'm working with other people that are helping me make something. And the challenge was if the silversmiths could help me get there. I'm very interested in working with an image and then trying to change the image into an object. And so the thing that I'm working on is a death mask from South America. That area right there, maybe bend a little bit and a little bit underneath that. It's a very different kind of beauty. It's, a, it's darker, it's more poetic. When you look at it at a distance, it looks one way, and you get up close and it's something else and you see the, the patina, the beautiful kind of iridescent color. You pay attention to the water, and then you see a reflection in the water. So there's a slowness in how I'm wanting the viewer to experience the work. When I told my mom I was in the Whitney Biennial, she was excited, but once I said the word Tiffany, she freaked out, you know? She was just like, ah, I'm calling your aunt. We're making a box, it's handmade, it's lined in wood, and I presented them with a drawing to be engraved on the box. My drawing is not translated by a machine, but by actual people that have learned this engraving technique. And watching them work is almost magic. They have these little tools, each mark, makes a difference and the engraver actually becomes like superhuman in a way. I thought that when I would get the picture from Tiffany the um, surface would be more raw so it was definitely intimidating to have this finished gorgeous picture in my studio that doesn't need anything else. <laughs> I moved to New York two and a half years ago and I started making landscapes. With the landscapes, it's really natural for me to still do this kind of window or border. And so I immediately went to thinking about the window project with Tiffany. Context definitely makes a difference. If this was on the wall, then all of a sudden people talk about it differently. And when the pictures leave here and go to the window, it will be a completely different feeling. A lot of my work has that element of window display, so it felt like we were already speaking a very similar language. Do you have the little case? I just want to go. I've never worked with sterling silver before, and the idea that I could hide whatever I wanted on the surface of the card case, that was really fascinating. I was thinking a lot about the people who I see on Fifth Avenue, and I jumped and started thinking about American Psycho. It just felt obvious to emblazon the word psycho across it. And whether or not you can even see it or not, it's there, and that becomes a part of the mystery of the object. What I was hoping for happened. All the planning, all the challenges, and it worked. <sighs> no way. The window is the idea. The drawing and the box create this like marriage. It's a totally different kind of exposure than one has in a museum or a gallery. So I'm very excited about it. 
I want to have viewers feel like they're gonna look into another world and want to go there. It pulls you in and it brings you out of your regular life. I like designing things and I think it offers a different valence for how a thoughtful object can exist in the world.